Hi guys. As you can probably tell, I've got a new toy. Well, in fact, I bought two of these because they were one ninety nine each from QDs. Couldn't resist at that price. <laughs> and for one and a half watt, that is actually pretty bright. But uh, yeah, all it is is a bulb. Plugs into a, just a standard BC lamp holder over here, bayonet cap lamp holder. It's feeling warm. It's been running for about five minutes, ten minutes or so, and it's feeling warm but not hot. Put it down there for a second while I unplug the lamp. I just made a test thing up for it. Ugh. That's all it is. It's just like that black one I got, just in white. And I've seen the exact same thing on eBay, right, for six ninety nine, And I got this at QDs for one ninety nine. Oh, you can see the electronics. It's kind of like vents around the side. That's such a good idea to let the heat disperse. These are quite a... A funky idea. Oh, yeah, and uh, <laughs> they've multiplied as well. I've got another two, so I've got four now. I actually have to say, that's quite a nice effect. The time just right, look. Reminds me of one of them old American light bars, that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> They're actually quite bright. They're a lot brighter than the um, previous version, the non-LED version. And uh, I actually did a test with these. I took one downstairs last night and uh, stuck it on the baggage rack of Claudia. And I went all the way down to the other end of the block, and I could see that quite clearly. So, shall I bolt it to the bike and write police on it or something? <laughs> Got that bloody lamp in my eyeballs. <sighs> I've not actually done a great deal today, actually. All I've done. Do me is clear all the crap off that table. I've used my air compressor and dusted everything down, and I've done that very top shelf all the way along because that's just cobwebs and dead flies, dead spiders, dead everything up there. <laughs> um, I even found well, I think it was a dead spider under the table. So, yeah. <laughs> Lots of dead crap. That's all. Whoops. It's all sorted out ah, there. Is that the other one or is that the empty box? No, that is the other one. These are, there's no weight to them. But I can't believe how much they're charging on eBay for those. Yeah, it just proves you've got to be careful. Things may not always be cheaper in the wonderful world that is the internet. It's more convenient, but not necessarily cheaper. Right, I've already had a look in here, but uh, and I had already started to make a video, but um, several files got corrupted. So I'm starting again. So, let's have a look in here. Now, I'm not sure what that processor is. It could be a dual core, because I know Windows XP will run with a dual core or it might just be a single core but it does have a a um, PCIe video card slot um, DDR2 memory two 512 megabyte sticks of DDR2 memory and I'm glad I just checked that because that wasn't pushed in properly right. um, 
and it's also got an SATA hard drive standard IDE interface um, thingy up there what is this going to? oh, oh I see it goes round in the... oh so all the USB and everything on the front and card reader has got a separate cable that runs into this DVD drive because it's got all that uh, card reader stuff and whatnot all built into it. Yeah. I actually have to say I was not expecting an SATA drive, a DDR2 memory and whatnot on here. I was actually expecting, um, as it's XP, you know, the old school stuff, IDE and DDR and whatnot. So, uh, I was pleasantly surprised. It's actually got four SATA slots on this. So this could actually be upgraded for... I'm going to Google the motherboard and just see what the... Me you know what memory and processes and whatnot can be um, upgraded on this, um, but I think you could possibly make a low-powered Windows 10 machine, uh, you know, for browsing more than anything. I don't think you could build it into anything to you know game with, but I'm pretty certain you could. Uh, like I said, um, make it into a Windows 10 browsing PC at least if you want to upgrade it. It'd probably even run Windows 7. Actually, I think Windows 7 would probably be your best bet for this. Although, if you can upgrade this to 2 gigabytes of DDR2, I know Windows 10 will run on that perfectly fine. No. Perhaps uh, if you wanted to, you could upgrade the um, DVD drive to SATA as well, as there is four sockets. You might need an adapter for power, because I can only see one. Which, yeah, there is only the one. Cable management is good. This is factory built, because it's all properly cable managed and whatnot. That's something that I don't know, and I don't... <laughs> you know, I wouldn't expect someone to home build a PC in this sort of case, so this is definitely a still original from the factory. And it's still working. That's actually a good feat. Touch wood. <laughs> I don't want to talk it up. What we got? We've got an upside-down power supply in here. An Asus one, so it's the original power supply. Or, um, well, maybe might not even be the original, but it is the, you know, it's an original Asus one at least. It's a 300 watt power supply. At peak, but rated 250. So I suppose for safety you could call it a 250 watt. But to be honest, that says stuff all in here really, you wouldn't need much more than that, you know. There's no case fans, although they don't use a lot of power anyway. Uh, there's no heavy duty video card in this or anything, so. But I do. I'm going to keep this one as it is. I'm not going to touch it. I don't want to. All I'm going to do is go and get a a little fan and just stick on the back here. Because I will. I. Blah, 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 blah. I'll try again. I uh, do prefer to have at least one fan. I don't think it's going to need much more as it's on a Windows XP. I'm actually looking <laughs> for something I can't find. I don't think it's got it. There's no case fan header on this. It's got a floppy drive header, so I could add a floppy drive to it, which I might well do as well. 
I'll add a few things to it, but um, other than that, I'm not going to touch it. Right. So I'm going to go and get a few bits, and I'm actually going to go and run to the bathroom. As we say over here, I'm starting to turtle. <laughs> uh, so I need a fan, a floppy disk drive, and cable. I'm sure I saw a power cable for a floppy disk. Yes, there is one in that bundle. Don't need card reader because technically it's got one on there. I'm going to do that, go to the bathroom, and I'll put the camera back on. Well, I thought I'd bring it into the kitchen to uh, work on it, you know. So to take everything to the computer, I might as well bring the computer to everything. So, uh, one of the first things I'm going to need to do is snip that. Ruin all their nice uh, cable management, but then again, I can tuck that up the top there, couldn't I? A bit of tape or something around there, I'll keep that. Right, we've got the mouse keyboard monitor. Kick that out of the way. So I'm all equipped to go in here. You can see me if nothing else. <laughs> right. So, well, I've got a feeling I didn't need to cut that. Mind. <laughs> a bit late now. Right. Stick the fan on first, because so that's the easiest task. And the second screw. ends of the cable and we just go hang on hmm. <laughs> well, no. whose idea was it to put a bloody card reader on a CD player right thinking of cable management, so what I'm going to do is plug it into the CD drive, like that. And tuck all the wires up here, plug the other end of the adapter into the back. DVD drive, like so. And that's that good to go. I'm hoping I can actually drag, or rather drape the cable around the back of the processor fan. Like so, and that's actually out of the way. Actually, that could make things a lot easier if I just rotate the fan around 180 degrees or whatever. Well, I don't know, or suck at maths and angles and shit. Alright, so we'll do that. Do that. There we go, that just gives us a little bit more slack to play with. I'll show you what I've done in a minute. I'll just get this fan screwed back on. And get the owls all lined up. that cable for the fan up the top there out of the way, I hope. And I've got it coming into an adapter here, or into the power supply there, then the adapter 
is plugged in at the back of the CD drive. I don't know if that cable's going to stay up there, but... Right. Ah! There is a knockout there. Already in free for a floppy disk drive, so... Whoa! Went for a bit of a ride there. <laughs> right. So you get rid of one of them. And then of course you just get your flappy disky drive. Just slot it straight in to the front. Voila! Now somewhere up here is Uh oh. Something's going down. That's the second fire engine I've just heard. Ours has just left on a show. And he ain't losing no time either. Whoops, wrong button. <coughs> anyway. While the camera was off, I went and uh, set everything up. Everything's plugged in, connected up, so... Um, might as well see if it's going to work. So, I've got the... got the rear fan on around the wrong way. It's blowing into the case, not exhausting. So I'll have to turn that around. Don't know if the floppy drive did anything. I didn't look to see if it was seeking. But while it's booting, let's just kind of grab some floppy disks off the shelf and see if it is actually functioning. Let's grab this pile here. Yep. guess this time. See if there's anything on there. Hardware it should detect no matter which one you go into. Preparing to install. Installing. Trying to install something that's not there, obviously. Oh, go away. This is the mouse and keyboard that came with it as well. I'm not seeing a floppy disk drive. What about if I stick a disk in there? screwed it and power's on isn't it yeah IDE cables are in maybe that's a I don't tell me I've got to actually go in and ah uh, let's restart if I remember with Asus you've got to hit the Dell button Ooh, a bit sweaty <coughs> a bit like the other PC, it's been turned off. Yep. See, I'm getting good, aren't I? I remembered it. System time, 10.21. Uh, it's a little bit fast. Friday, 30th September. Yeah, that's all correct. Legacy Disket A. 
frequency disabled. Make sure there's nothing else I'm going to have to exit and exit. Is it going to seek or anything? Or is that something else I'm going to have to? Oh, there we go, it's seeking this time. Yay, it seeked the floppy drive. Yeah, I'll turn that fan round so it exhausts. If I really wanted to, I could get another one and just throw it on the front. Keep it really cool that way, won't it? And I've just got to screw it on it. It said glue screw the uh, floppy disk drive down because I haven't done that yet right well, I think I might get rid of the um, guest account because I'm not going to need two accounts on this and it has got a hard drive load on it Firewall on. Virus protection out of date. Found new hardware. Your hardware is installed and ready to use. Does it mean installed? The Could not reconnect all network drives. Well, because they're not connected. Right. My computer, and we should see a floppy disk drive. Are we? We are indeed seeing a floppy disk drive. It's doing something. Screw that down. I just pushed on the button to eject the disk and shoved the whole drive into the computer. Right, so that can go there. That can go there. So all I've got to do now is just stick a couple of screws in. That's all I've got to do. So I'm going to stick you here so you can look at my sweaty mug. That's the other thing I'll do. Oh, I'll do that when I shut it down, I think. So, yeah, they're the only mods I wanted to do to this. I'm not going to touch anything. Oh, I'm going to try and find the screwdriver that I've gone and lost. <laughs> what have I done with that? What the hell is it doing down there? You go losing your magnetism on me now, bitch. <laughs> the screws, they are pig and awkward. There we go, got that one started. I'm gonna have to take the other side panel off to get me a screw in the other side. Again, I can do that when I shut it off. So, what I'm going to do is just turn it on, and all you can see is the top of the screen. That is really helpful, isn't it? I'll have to hold you again. Right. Start, control panel. 
user accounts. ASP Jet Machine. Limited account, password protected. Change an account. Guest account. I want to turn that one off. ASP.NET machine and limited account. Only got one account on this now. What we've got installed on here? Please wait while the list is being populated. We'll hurry up and populate the list. Browser choice. You see lots of things that I probably will delete from this. We've got Adobe Air, Adobe Flash, Adobe Media Player, Asus WLAN Card Utilities and Driver. We don't have that on here. A CD Label Print, Easy Web Print, Google Chrome, Google Toolbar for Internet Explorer, Java, Microsoft Office Professional, Windows Installer 3.1. Nothing on there where I can see that needs to be removed. Aces W Land Card Settings. There's definitely nothing there that resembles a Wi-Fi card. <laughs> Most works well. No, there's nothing, no Wi-Fi here either. Hmm. There's something installed that's not actually on this PC. Alright, we can turn that off. Oh, you are doing something. Ending program. I haven't seen that since service pack one. So I bet this is service pack one. I'm just sitting back there. Undo or unplug everything from the rear here because I don't need it now. I do want to just take that side panel off. I'll do that in just a moment. I'm just going to flip the fan over. I don't think it really needed a case fan, but yeah. it's on there now. <laughs> Got to go that way. Some fans have arrows on them to tell you the direction of airflow, but this one typically doesn't. <laughs> so I have to guess. And I guessed wrong. Just 
one. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about cable management because nothing's in the way of fans there anyway. Though I could just tuck those Molex connectors up there out of the way. Or about the floppy drive, there we go. As long as they're out of the way. I'll put a couple of um, case cover screws in on the other cover because this didn't come with any. Oddly enough. I'll change these two so I've got four that match. My other case cover is still in the lounge. Right. So. That's one. But I'm going to need. I'll be glad when I can go back from there and sit in front of that fan because I'm sweating for some reason. Oh, that's a different one there, there would be. Ah, here we go. Right, so there's the four case cover screws, and I'm hoping that this one screw will go in a floppy disk drive. I'll put these two in here. Ah. It's got a thing on the case so you can lock the case closed for when it's in an office so people don't go in and steal the components. Because apparently people used to do that. It's a dirty tea towel, I wouldn't do it with a clean one. I thought it stink as well. Okay, floppy disk drive is secure. Secure, secure. I hate saying that word. Windows XP Home Edition OEM software and a product key. That's the first time I've actually found that. Um, OEM sticker. One and two. part of the panel on probably. Might be why the screw hole is not lining up at the bottom. I'm glad these screws aren't super long, you know. No, no I haven't got it on at the bottom. Oops. Did that get it that time? That got it that time. It's definitely worth me trundling up the road to uh, get this. Right. Yeah, there's not much I can do with that cable apart from that. Just one more side panel which I'll go get because I know exactly where it is. that no I don't I can't find it <laughs> just take you with me I can't find it what do I do with it oh twat it's right there 
What a numpty. How the hell did I not see that? Ow. Righty. Pop you there for a moment. I was going to take the PC through there and put it on, but that's why I put the two little screws on the thing. You going to slide on? Yay! There we go. I've got no upgrades to put on this either. think what I have but I can't connect them in the case. I could have put two extra USB ports on the back unless I go nick the USB card out of uh, one of the other machines. <laughs> I've got another XP machine which has got a PCI um, USB card in it. But that would just be upgrading for the sake of upgrading really. I'm just going to leave it as it is. The fan on, the fan is on. Good. Uh, oh, pardon me. <laughs> and for another fan. Hey, uh, cool air. Ooh, that's lovely. Right. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I posted a, a um, article from the Mirror that states Britain faces four months of snow as long as winter and it doesn't look like no sorry I'll start that again it looks like that everyone has replied so far agrees <laughs> um, totally agree Andrew Lorne another mirror fake headline every spring it's like three months of 30 degrees C for summer and autumn it's three months of snow for winter same headline different year my cousin says my other cousin says say this every year friend says says one forecaster and then he says you know in inverted commas and then says cite multiple sources and come back to us and the last friend has put I would be happy with only four months of snow I'm not sure where this dude comes from actually has he got a Alaska. Ah, that's why he said he'd be happy with just four months. <laughs> yep, they do get a lot of snow up in Alaska. I would love to see some. You know, a few weeks of it would do me. Just because it's different from freaking rain. No, it looks like a small recovery truck, not a heavy recovery truck.
Oops. Yeah, don't ride with your feet on the dashboard. Because in the event of an accident, if those airbags go off, which they will, you ain't gonna have any legs left. Well, you will, but they'll be broken in multiple places. That's the reason you don't put a um, rear-facing child seat on a front seat. Uh, where there's an airbag. Just a bit of uh, information, I suppose. Public service announcement. <laughs> Yeah, alright, I'm not a fan of Apple iPhones or anything like that, but this guy's taken up to a whole new level. The headline... <laughs> the headline says, Man walks into Apple store and calmly smashes every iPhone in sight. <laughs> okay. Should we have a quick look? Oh, he's a French man. Now, weren't my friend in France, was it? No. Nope. <laughs> I can tell from the CCTV. <laughs> he obviously doesn't like the iPhone. <laughs> Why were security just watching him do it? It was probably in a small shop and I didn't have security, but I had security cameras. Now, just because the shop has cameras doesn't mean they've got security guards. Uh. <laughs> like I said, they're not my favourite phones. Well, they wouldn't be what I would choose. Let's put it that way. Um. Um. But I wouldn't... <laughs> I wouldn't do that. You know, that's just taking things too far. You know, if people are happy using an iPhone and... You know, and all the bloody gump that comes with it... No, no headphone jack or whatever these days. That's up to them, you know, it's their money, their choice. I do just like to poke fun. I don't know, I've just always been a... With computers I've always been a Microsoft fan and with, you know, any phone I've always been an Android. Even though I've not really used smartphones, not for a while anyway. They just, well, to be honest, even modern smartphones, you know, they're just, they're not me. I'd much rather sit in front of the PC. That's why I don't really take a laptop to mum's. The only reason I've got one is if I've got anything listed on eBay. And I just want to check, you know, that I haven't been asked a question or anything. Same with Gumtree. Or if I'm going to be bidding on something that ends on the Sunday that I'm at Mum's. Other than that, my laptop stays here. I'm not online when I'm at Mum's. I might jump on for five minutes on a spare laptop. Literally five minutes because that thing gets really slow after a while of being wrong. But uh, when I'm at Mum's anyway, I'm usually busy doing something. So <laughs> I just see it as my my time 
to just get away from the internet, which is nice, in my opinion. It's nice just to, once in a while, you know, put the internet down, go off and do other things. Hell, is that the time already? Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> dragged on long enough. I was just debating what to do because I was going to start again but then I thought no because then I've got to go and set everything up in the kitchen and I can't be bloody asked to do that now. It's done and dusted. The way I see it the skip button is there, the stop button is there so if you get bored you, know, you just hit either. So on that note I take it you want some grub. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to say good night, because it is nearly 10.30, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Not got a clue what I'm doing tomorrow. Mum's got work, so I'll probably see her after work. Other than that, I don't really have any, you know, chores or jobs planned or anything. So, um, yeah, so I'll just say bye, so... Bye.